guys the restaurant that i'm about to expose i'm sure they've broken every right at the labor relations act just opened it's in menlin i've been working there for a few days now so what happened is i went for a job interview i showed them my cv i'm in my socials and i was hired on the spot and then they told me that i should buy a uniform for this job right so it cross belty a white shirt black shorts black apron black shoes i was like okay you know what it's fine i'm gonna buy those things because i'm just grateful that i got the job it was a bit mm, for me at first because i was like i've worked at other places previously and i've never had to buy my own uniform but i was like hey it's whatever i went to work the next day and then there was just like oh guys there were more things piling up as waitresses zitibana we have to buy our own equipment right i didn't know about that um so basically equipment is a bottle opener a cigar cutter and don't know any e cigarette lighter cigar lighter yeah boy like you buy all of these things yourself out of your own pocket mind you i just spent a thousand rand on just the uniform excluding the alterations excluding the transport fees and now i have to buy the equipment myself but i was like you know what it's fine this was 10 years isn't it because they're full of i had all of these things within the second day that i was working there only to find out that there is no contract there's nothing that is legally binding between you you and the restaurant you just go there you work if you get fired you get fired because there's no contract most so so teen how are you going to defend yourself that was the second red flag for me actually and then they were like we don't have a basic salary as not basic salary you make in my liquid tips this wasn't discussed with me prior diva ngokem sebenzini ba you make in my liquid tips there's like a mandatory tip of 10% that they bill to the customer but even that 10% tip the restaurant the restaurant takes about i think it's 20% 30% i stand to be corrected something about breakage and leverage i don't know so glad 10% they still take imali etil and when you come into work you have to pay what they call a rana fee which is 200 rand so basically a rana is someone that assists the waitress and then you also have to pay your rana at the end of the night Climbing gym or wrong or maybe I don't know how things work, but all of this seemed extreme to me, especially considering the fact that we don't have a basic salary. So fine, I worked there. My first day, it was not smooth sailing because it is my first day. Yes, I've worked at other places, but it's my first time working here. I'm still trying to learn how things work up. Guys, when I tell you what I went through at that restaurant zang I have never gone through that in my entire life even in my personal life the way that they treat us paying at zizinja even the way that they talk to us they make us feel less than they belittle us as in a break you work from 1 p.m. up until 2 a.m. the next day there's no break you have to sneak maybe a red bull in the bathroom or outside in the corner even if you're eating a payako we eat like une khala ba a manager is going to walk in and scold you for that it's so guys and i just felt like i had to speak up because there is no ways i don't even know if the customers know that the employees are being treated this way you know but i was like let me suck this up yeah bro let me just try my best to make him ali but it's even hard to make kwala male tips because you find that most of the managers they're friendly with some of the waitresses so you could be standing there whole day and not even get tables because they're giving it a feel like which homies are bro when i also say bensa for example last week sunday i went home with a debt to the restaurant i ended up having to owe the restaurant 20 rand because of leverage and breakage and what not after working from 1 pm up until 2 am i ended up owing them excuse me for example today i've worked so hard so hard but just because and if and the nikwaita feel them now some of your customers will come they'll say no it feel like aban ban leana no a customer ka ban ban you like okay sharp sure as i see how this is today i went home with a 100 rand we tips i went home with a 100 rand we tips today after working from 1 p 
p.m. up until 2 a.m. And I was like, you know what? It's long but it's okay. It's okay. So before work started, we complained that the cutlery we are short, uh, you know, things are slow in the kitchen. Then they were like, we are losing the cutlery. Therefore, everybody is getting fined 200 rand. How are we losing the cutlery? Who is taking it home? Who is losing it where? Like the Pelelegla restaurant, they search our bags when we go home. So where is it being lost? So basically, we are buying a cutlery year restaurant because they find all of us 200 rand. That accountant or whatever she is, she gave me this 100 rand. Then the manager came to me. She's like, Michali, we know you're not on the WhatsApp group, but we're finding everyone 200 rand. So, Dimbuzo says, Man, does I find happy because I get 800 rand my tips for the day? This is how much I made from working from 1 p.m. up until 2 a.m. Then they 100 rand. So, if man, I pay 200 rand, they cutlery fine. They're like, No, must like basically, man, these are me, demand Nikki because I'm I owe them. Guys, when I tell you my tears were here, like I told myself that you know what, I'm gonna go home because. This is cruel, like, ningolile, ningolile, like, basically, I'm going to be left at a negative 100 rand after working so many hours. Because, Nina, you don't want to do, you don't want to buy your stock or inventory, what is it called, as a restaurant, like, besides that, the way that they speak to us, I'm not sure if I mentioned this in the, in the previous, um, in the part one, the way they speak to you, ingati au yo, don't if yo you even doubt ba, kandi eka and their town do kanye why in dilapa. So basically, this other manager she comes to me and then she's like, chinji hesta yako, and I'm like, she's like, unga buya pim seven zinala hesta. Mind you, work is, work ends at two a.m. Then we have to be there at one p.m. So where am I gonna find the time to take out these braids and do another hairstyle? I got no reason why my this change and I know three other girls that work with the same hairstyle so I was so confused like Ingati they were out to get me because I'm new or maybe they didn't want me there because I'm not sure if I mentioned this in the part one but even when I came into work today they were like we are demoting you just because I was slow on my first day and still trying to learn the ropes I were demoting you I'm like guys can I please work because the lapa I bought the uniform. I paid the transport to come here. I'm a full niva sana. Gelaka, they let me work. But at what cost? Because I only made a hundred rand. Because it definitely is ever for a bandu babo. I can't do So I'm like, I tell this manager, I'm like, I can change my hairstyle within a few days. She's like, Unga zim sebens and nusun unale hairstyle. She's speaking in English. Yabazwe to but give me like a tidish cosa sam. What don't come back to work unale hairstyle. Gomso, which is Friday. Today is Friday, yeah. So I'm like, like, guys, yo, in the labas patanga, yo, payana, but more so, especially me. Like, especially not because Ndim Chanda, no, but when they can do any politics, payana. But Ibu Shungu, some other girls told me that before I worked there, they called them for a meeting and they said that Babi, Nimbache, Nimilenze, Baba Niki gift card is come make but thing any makeup and any makeup ni baby. How do you how do you say that to people? Like guys, in doing the gapa ibu shungu it's so painful and they find us for everything. Your hair is not up to their standard, fine. Your nails are not done, fine, fine, fine for your own get in don't you ingati we are a few fueling the restaurant. That's no bad be the guy like I'm about in at his seat and walk about Kubale restaurant. Yo, no, guys, I thought I should speak up because if Shung and Doyen's a gap, I like, yeah, I need to see that investigation. I'm slamming dim, slamming the soft. Maybe I don't know how things work, but no, no ways. I, the first day I worked there, I came home with blisters, been the sore pack guys, because my feet were so sore. Like, but I told myself I'm gonna work hard, I'm gonna prove myself, but toxic like environment they are so mean the managers like mean girls on a hundred i told myself na and na and i let her the go to them the fuck of a panda that go to her guys i like and now apparently they were looking for me saying i owe them tomorrow man disney mile uban uban and the color p email 
like basically i I spent so much money i spent so much money guys on literally on all of this like equipment i mm -mm. lungisan if anyone from that restaurant sees this video so since i posted the video isolo some of the managers at babel did try to call me contact me but I've not been returning their calls or their messages. One of the managers even went as far as DMing me on Instagram, offering to refund me for a uniform as well as the equipment in exchange for me taking down the video. Obviously, I did not respond to them. And it really saddens me because they think this is really just about the money. Yes, I did incur financial loss. But it's more about the principle. I thought that they would admit their wrongdoing and try to better the working conditions of their employees. But I don't think they see themselves in the wrong. They have gone as far as asking or making the employees report my account, report my videos. Now, for those of you who don't know, I'm a student, but I'm also a part-time content creator. So apps like Instagram and TikTok, that's where I make a little bit of extra money. So them trying to get my account taken down is cruel because they are now taking my last source of income or at least trying to but hopefully it's not going to work yeah so since i posted la video there are a band in my dm who have been sharing their testimonies telling me about the experiences that they have had at babel and other restaurants and clubs as well it's really disheartening and heartbreaking and I really hope that these restaurants can make an effort to right their wrongs and better the working conditions of the employees because I just want to say thank you to you guys for all of the support. I see you guys in the comments. I see you guys leaving bad reviews under Google. You guys have even posted the video on Twitter. It's going viral. You guys have made such a great effort to create awareness. So I really appreciate what you guys are doing because you're not only helping me, you're also helping the employees who are still working at Babel because now I quit most and Pangelipa. And I want to thank the people who have gone the extra mile because there are people in my DMs who've been offering me job opportunities, who've been plugging me with job vacancies, trying to lessen the impact of the situation that Babel has put me in. And I want to say thank you for the EFF, especially for the action that they are taking against Babel. They released a statement. They said that they're going to go to Babel to make sure that employees are passing their employment contracts, basic salary and whatnot. So thank you. Thank you so much to the EFF. It just goes to show how united we are as a country and how powerful social media can be. So I just want to